Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include Authorities don't have a clue how many illegal foreign drivers are on UK roads and revealed how Brussels red tape leaves British pensioners £600 a year worse off than Americans. Power grab for taxman criticised as sinister and EU takes UK to court over leisure fuel plus new surveillance laws. In our drive to survive, we've introduced new features onto the unit website, and I'll have more details on those items later in the show. But first, I have some very sad news. Trevor Coleman called me earlier today with the tragic news that my friend and colleague Ralph Gay has died. Ralph was chairman of the Exeter branch of the UK Independence Party, and I had the great pleasure to work with him on many occasions. An incredibly deliberate man, full of passion and conviction. I love to hear the stories of his time in the SAS regiment and tales of protection duty for the Queen Mother. I know he will be sadly missed. God be with you, Ralph. Shalom. My friends, it's Wednesday, the 16th of July. I'm Rick Timmis. This is the unit nightly news. First up, the top story from our homepage. Authorities don't have a clue how many illegal foreign drivers are on UK roads. Foreign drivers pose an incalculable danger to other road users, the RAC claimed yesterday, because the authorities don't have a clue how many are illegal. It is reckoned that 15,000 foreigners fail to register their vehicles, costing £3 million a year in tax. But the RAC says the actual number is far more given that two and a half million cars each year use the Euro Tunnel. Unregistered cars escape MOT tests, avoid speeding and parking fines, and go uninsured and are so hard to trace that they are used by criminals. But although the UK Border Force logs cars on entry, the information is not given to the Driver and Vehicle Licensing Agency, nor to the police. Pete Williams of the RAC said it is beyond belief that in the 21st century government agencies are not sharing this information. Revealed how Brussels red tape leaves British pensioners £600 a year worse off than Americans. Retired Britons get £600 a year less than those in America because of EU red tape strangling people's pension pots, researchers revealed. OAPs in the UK can expect a payout of around £2,850 a year from a £50,000 retirement pot, but in the States, pensioners with the same size nest egg will get £3,450. Pension experts say this £50 a month gulf is because EU financial regulation is twice as strict as that in the United States. EU rules force British insurance companies to hold twice as much cash in reserve compared to those in the US, driving down the amount they can pay out in annuities to pensioners. Power grab for taxman criticised as sinister. Employees will not be told about changes to their tax codes for 30 days in HMRC's move, which could see people forced to pay more than they owe. Millions of people face seeing money disappear from their bank accounts without being told after a sinister power grab by the taxman, experts have warned. HM Revenue and Customs wants to delay telling employees about changes in their tax codes for up to a month, which could see people pay more tax than they owe. Now, cast your minds back to the bank deposit bail-ins that took place in Cyprus. Remember that what was actually levied was a depositor's tax, whereby a percentage of savings over a certain base amount, in this case 40%, on values above €100,000. Such a depositor's tax is administered by the revenue. So these changes to the law provide the mechanism by which the same could be implemented here in the UK. EU takes UK to court over leisure fuel. The European Commission is taking the United Kingdom to the EU Court of Justice in the latest move in a long-running dispute 
over Britain's policy of allowing private leisure craft to use low-tax red diesel. In a statement issued yesterday, the Commission said it had decided to take Britain to court for not properly applying the rules on fiscal marking on fuel. Under EU rules, fuel that can benefit from a reduced tax rate has to be marked by coloured dye. Fishing vessels and farming machinery, for example, are allowed to benefit from a lower taxed fuel, but the Commission insists private leisure boats must use fuel subject to a standard rate. Red diesel can be up to 40% cheaper than fuel sold in petrol stations in the UK. New surveillance laws. Emergency surveillance law to be brought in with cross-party support. The move has been prompted by a judicial review claim in the High Court that current practice is unlawful. David Cameron explains why new surveillance laws are needed and what they will allow controversial emergency laws to be introduced into the Commons next Monday to reinforce the powers of security services to require internet and phone companies to keep records of their customers' emails and calls. The move follows private talks over the past week and the laws will have the support of Labour and the Liberal Democrats on the basis that there will be a sunset clause and a new board to oversee the functioning of the powers. So folks, here it is. We've been talking about these privacy and data laws for two years now. The Edward Snowden revelations brought it out into the open. But what does our, apparently you're a sceptic, big cheese Dave Cameron only do? He harmonises the laws in line with the EU and legalises the capture of private data by GCHQ. Good representative governance, Dave, if serving the interests of the public at large. Purple Pigs PayPal. So, you've probably already noticed some changes to the website. Purple Pigs, right? Okay, let me explain. As you're already aware, up until the end of last month, the unit was funded directly by Trevor Coleman, MEP, via the European Union. Somewhat ironic, perhaps, but the truth nonetheless. Right now, we're looking to the new raft of Eurosceptic MEPs across the UK in an effort to work with them in promoting the truth about the European Union in their regions and to help them awaken their constituents. Of course, whilst our search continues, we have mortgages to pay, families to provide for and, of course, maintaining the infrastructure, facilities and services here at the unit all costs money. We believe that the value we bring with news, speaking events, video and promotional work is second to no one. The unit operates on a budget of just £100,000 a year. Imagine that just 10% of the UK Independence Party's expenses on just its party political broadcasts for the month up to the European elections. For that one-tenth of their campaign pot, we have delivered a year-round service and awoken thousands of people to what is really going on in Europe. Without funding, we're dead in the water. That's the truth of the matter. But we're not going down without a fight, and that's what the Purple Pigs and PayPal buttons are all about. So, here's how you can help us. If you want to help fund us directly, then use the PayPal subscription button on the right of our site to make a regular donation. We've costed out four options, and if you're able to work with us and support us this way, then I thank you personally, and on behalf of the rest of the team, thank you. Of course, that's not going to be for everybody, and that's where the purple pigs come in. There are backup snouts, our truffle hunters, if you will. We've teamed up with the Utility Warehouse Discount Club. In a nutshell, they provide gas, electricity, telephone, and broadband internet, and mobile phones at discounted prices. They're a FTSE 250 listed UK public limited company, but you've probably not heard of them because they don't advertise. They reach their customers through a network of distributor partners like us. So click on the Purple Pigs on our website and take a look at their website. Get a quote for some services and if you choose to switch to them, they'll give us a one-off payment of between £10 and £40 and an ongoing commission of £1 to £2 per month. Let's face it, the work we do has changed the perception of thousands of people. And if we want to bring back Britain as a country governed by the people of Britain for the people of Britain, we're not going to do it without your help. So come on, give us a hand. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the unit, Nightly News. I'll see you soon. <laughs>